Well, today is a very special one for the music community of Burlington, the first annual Andy A. Dog Williams Day, celebrating the life of one of the city's most beloved DJs. Williams died last December after a year-long battle with leukemia. Knowing how big of an influence he was, not only on the music scene, but also with skateboarding, snowboarding, and art, Mayor Moreau Weinberger declared the day after the young man passed. Put on by the group Friends for A Dog, the day consisted of music acts, DJ workshops, art, and skateboarding. It was all meant to encompass all he impacted on the community, as well as kickstart a special project in his honor. WPTZ's Vanessa Mishania has the details on who he was, the legacy A Dog is leaving behind. on every single person that surrounded him. He was very much a teacher. I can't say enough about him. The influence of Andy DJ A Dog Williams is obvious inside Burlington's Red Square, where he was a resident DJ. Still a presence 10 months after losing his battle to leukemia. The impact that Andy had and has still every day is just really beautiful. Born in St. Albans, Williams moved to Burlington at age 18 where his talent as a skateboarder, snowboarder, and turntablist didn't go unnoticed, playing gigs across the country for companies like Burton, Analog, and Gravis. Uh, Half-pipe competition in California, or the U.S. Open in, in uh, southern Vermont, and Andy was always their guy, and he was everybody's guy. Friends say it was Andy's love for his community and willingness to teach others that made him loved by all. So when he fell ill in December 2012, his community did what they could to help find a bone marrow donor, which was not an easy task. Because Andy's black and Filipino of mixed ethnicity, it's really hard to find a donor. His odds are one in 20 million would be a match for him. Friends for A Dog was born, a movement by the community to raise money and find him a bone marrow match. And they were successful. However, Williams later died from complications after his transplant. The support did not end there. Hundreds walked from Church Street to the waterfront soon after his passing, honoring the light he brought to Burlington, which got his friends thinking. So when Andy passed away, we kind of tried to transition Friends for ADOG, um, which were in the process of transitioning into a nonprofit. From a possible scholarship for at-risk youth to generating interest in all things Williams is passionate about. We'll continue to share his legacy and his interests and continue his teaching. Those who love him, making it their mission that this bright soul stays lit in the Queen City and beyond. In Burlington, Vanessa Mashanya, WPTZ News Channel 5.